and I'm going to check <coughs> check my phone to see if I'm live on Facebook. Okay. Uh, so we're live on Facebook now. Hey guys, this is Dr. Priscilla. I have a surprise for all of you that are watching. Today we have a special guest. You know, oftentimes I tell you that I'm going to have someone live come on and interact with us. So today we have none other than LaShandra Wigball. I'm not going to let her talk too much at all really because she's showing me how to do something and I'm going to confirm that this is what I'm already doing. So you all know that I have the promotional for $1 for you all to purchase if you so desire to do so. And in that you would have access to this forever. It's like forever for $1. Will it be for $1 always? No, but it is a promotional for those of you who are members of Speak Excellent English. What I'm going to do right now is go through a dialogue. It's what we've often done, especially if you are one of my paid students, you have gone through a dialogue with me already. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to quickly find a dialogue online and we're going to practice the dialogue. I'm going to type in dialogue between friends. Dialogue between friends. And the one that I find, the one that I have found, hmm, well, this is what they call Murphy's Law. When you want to do something and you haven't prepared for it because it wasn't something that I was thinking of doing, it isn't going to show up very quickly. So let me go again with um, dialogue, dialogue, D-I-A, dialogue at the dentist. Dialogue at the dentist. Let's see if I can find that one. Okay, this one says, perfect. So, LaShondra, let me know when you can see that I'm sharing my screen. Okay. Okay, I see it now. Okay, so in this dialogue, there's a conversation between Sam and the receptionist. In the activity that is on sale, part of what you're going to do is learn phrasal verbs, vocabulary, um, sentence structure. You'll pay close attention to, to sentence structure and how words are actually chunked together. I want you to keep in mind that this is just an example for demonstration purposes that the lessons that you will be buying are similar to this, but it is not this one. Where it, where it says Sam, for example, you would not read the part of Sam as my student. You would just listen. Everywhere where it's Sam, you would be listening. So I will start as the receptionist. So LaShondra is going to read Sam and then because Sam would be you and I would read as myself. So you would actually hear my voice. But let me demonstrate first what you will hear. LaShondra, you don't have to speak. I'll just go through to here. Okay. And I'll start out by saying, good morning. I have an appointment with Dr. Peterson at 1030. Yes, it's Sam Walters. No, I had my teeth cleaned and checked last year. Now, what this does is give you an opportunity to practice what you see, enunciate clearly what you see, and as you go through the entire lesson, you will be able to come up with appropriate word sentences, word structures that would be appropriate for conversation and 
because you have heard me go through the end of our conversation, if necessary, you can go back as often as you wish to get the fluency in speaking. Ready? All right. So now, LaShondra is going to read as Sam. I'm going to read the receptionist. We'll go to the end, and then I will stop the screen share. But I want to say, those of you who will watch this replay, or those of you who are watching us live now, thank you for your participation, and I would love your feedback. All right, let's go. LaShondra, will you, will you please start as Sam? Good morning. I have an appointment with Dr. Peterson at 1030. Good morning. Can I have your name, please? Yes, it's Sam Waters. Yes, Mr. Waters. Is this the first time you've seen Dr. Peterson? No, I had my teeth cleaned and checked last year. Okay, just a moment. I'll get your chart. Have you had any other dental work done during the past year? No, I haven't. Have you flossed regularly? Of course. I floss twice a day and use a water pick. I see you have a few feelings. Have you had any trouble with them? No, I don't think so. Oh, I changed my insurance. Here's my new provider card. Thank you. Is there anything in particular you'd like the dentist to check today? Well, yes. I've been having some gum pain recently. All right, I'll make a note of that. And I'd like to have my teeth cleaned as well. Of course, Mr. Waters, that'll be part of today's dental hygiene. Oh, yes, of course. Will I have x-rays taken? Yes, the dentist likes to take x-rays every year. However, if you'd prefer not to have x-rays, you can opt out. No, that's all right. I'd like to make sure everything is okay. Great. Please have a seat and the Dr. Peterson will be with you momentarily. Now, I just want to point out, as I just read that, everything that we read doesn't mean that it is written correctly. So you would not say, please have a seat and the Dr. Peterson, but you would say, please have a seat and Dr. Peterson will be with you momentarily. So that's no biggie. I want to say thank you, LaShondra. I want to say thank you for our listening members of Speak Excellent English. LaShondra, just as I am, is a native English speaker. She is also on YouTube. I want to encourage each of you to check her out. Find her amazing sessions. You will learn a great deal from her. Her style is really different from my style but I think that you would definitely learn a lot and very quickly from her. Thanks for listening, everybody. I'm going to stop the share and we'll invite LaShondra back another time. Okay, so LaShondra,